All right. In this video, we're going to see how to solve two by two linear systems. I'm going to show you uh, substitution and addition methods. So two equations and two variables. Here's our example. And the first step with the substitution method is to take either equation and solve for either variable. So there's no real wrong one to do here, but what you want to try to do is avoid fractions. Uh, you can see that if I were to solve for y here, I'd be dividing by 2, and that would be okay. If I were to solve for x here, I'd be dividing by 3, and that would also work. But I'm going to go ahead and uh, take the uh, first equation, and I'm going to solve for y there. So subtract 4x from both sides. Back to zero on the left. And now we need to divide both sides by two. And we have y solved for should be negative five minus two x. So now you have an expression for y in terms of x. So we, anywhere we see y, we can replace it with this expression that has x. All right, so that'll let us turn an equation that has two variables into an equation that has one variable. Now we have to substitute this into the other equation. Remember, this, this all came from the top one, or the first equation. We need to substitute it now into the second equation. And if you solved the second one in step one, you need to put it in the first equation. So I'm going to use parentheses and replace y with negative 5 minus 2x. Right. Now you're going to solve this equation for x. All right, so we can distribute that 9 and get... Uh, negative 45, and distribute the 9 to the negative 2x, and get negative 18x. I'm going to do 3x minus 18x, and we get negative 15x. Now let's go ahead and and 45 to both sides. So the 45 and negative 45 add to 0, and you'll just have negative 15x on the left, and 0 plus 45 is 45. Alright, then we need to divide both sides by negative 15. Now this is just half the answer because there are two unknowns, x and y, so we need to figure out what y is. So we're going to take this and we're going to put it into the equation found at step 1. So we're going to take this equation from step 1. And we're going to substitute in for x, negative 3. And now we can get the value for y. Should be negative 5 plus 6. So y is 1. All right, so if x is negative 3 and y is 1, and we want to check this by graphing. So let's go ahead and 
check, uh, we'll use the online wrapper Desmos. I just need to graph the two equations that we had. So we have 4x plus 2y equals negative 10, and 3x plus 9y equals 0. And just look for that intersection point. It's negative 3, 1. So that verifies our solution is the ordered pair negative 3, comma 1. State your solution as an ordered pair. Negative three comma one. So this is one way to do it using the substitution method. Let's take a look at the other method, the addition method. We have a different set of equations, and uh, the first step with the addition method is to actually get it formatted right. So we want it to have like terms and vertical columns. That means we want a column for the x's, a column for the y's, and a column for the constants. And you can see that the x's don't line up and the y's don't line up, so we need to fix this. So what we can do is we can subtract y from both sides in the first equation, and that would give us just x minus y on the left and the edge at 0 and 3 on the right. And then we just rotate this first second equation. Take the equals 4 and put it on the other side. Then we have a column for the x's, a column for the y's, and a column for the constants. And that's the way you want it to look. You may not have to do that, but in case you do, just use algebra and move things around. Now what we'd like to do is just add these up in a vertical columns. And they're like terms, so we can't add them. But we'd like for one of the variables to add to zero. In order for that to happen, we need the coefficients to be opposite numbers. Uh, you can see right now that the coefficients for x are 1 and 3. That's going to add to 4. The coefficients for y are negative 1 and negative 2. It's going to add to negative 3. So this isn't going to happen the way it is. But if we multiply every term in the first equation by negative 3, all right, we're allowed to do that if we multiply every term by the same number. Then we get negative 3x and positive 3y and negative 9. Now, if we are to add these equations, when we add the x terms, negative 3x, positive 3x adds to 0. So, let's go ahead and add those. Put a line here to show that we're adding these. So we get 0 for the x's. For the y's, we're just going to get y. Because it's 0x plus y equals negative 5. And of course, that's the same as just saying y equals negative 5, right? And you may have to divide if, if the coefficient for the other variable that's not eliminated is 2 or 3, you have to divide both sides by that. But here we don't. So this is half the answer. 
we're now going to take this and substitute it into one of the original equations. So let's take one of the original equations, we'll take the first equation, right there, and we're going to replace y with the number that we found for y. So replace y with negative 5. And this will give us negative 2. So again, we want to check our answer by graphing and see if we can get this point to show up. So let's put in this equation. And that equation, you can see the intersection point is negative 2, negative 5, which is the ordered pair that we found. So let's put that here. We're going to insert the solution. Negative 2, comma, negative 5. Okay. And that's the solution.